back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So as you can see by the title, I got three more mice. Before I introduce them to you though, I did just want to quickly give you a bit of a backstory and tell you how and why I got them. So I'm quite active on my rats and mouses Instagram, or at least I used to be. I'm trying to be a lot better about posting on there, but I do follow a few UK mouse breeders and chat to them a little bit. And when I picked up my first three girls, Pebble, Opal and Pearl, one of the other breeders that I follow on Instagram was at that breeder's house. She was also picking up some mice and I said to her that next time I'd get some girls from her, just to make it fair, say that I had girls from her and from the other breeder as well. So that was almost a year ago now and she knew exactly what I wanted in a mouse. She knew what some of my favourite varieties were and she does breed some of those varieties so I'd already told her what kind of varieties I was interested in and she definitely knows my preference so I kind of just left it with her. I chatted to her a bit throughout the year just about her mice in general and I did say I would have some babies from her if she had any coming up. So fast forward a few months I adopted Bramble and Sprig from a rescue centre and the whole process was very long winded. I'm really not sure why it was so long winded but from the time I saw the advert saying that they had mice available and then months of trying to get an answer about whether they had any females or not, it took me going in and viewing the mice to know that they did have females that needed adopting and then having to go back a second time to pick them up. So the whole process was very long winded at no point until I actually reserved them and then picked them up did I know for certain that I was getting these two mice which is Bramble and Sprig. So the day I brought them home I kept it kind of under wraps, I didn't want to tell anyone that I had them, just to let them settle in for a few days because they were rescues before I announced them to the world and everything. So the day that I actually brought them home I got a message from the breeder that I'd been talking to. So the breeder is Mice of Elegance, I'll leave her Instagram in the description but Emma breeds such healthy friendly mice and she happened to message me just as I would got these girls home and sent me a picture of, at the time, one of my girls, but she knows exactly what varieties I kind of was really interested in. Obviously I'm not too bothered, I got these rescue girls, not really caring what they looked like, but I did have a dream variety at the time, which was a black-eyed Siamese, and she sent me a picture of one of the ones she had available, and I was completely sold. So even though the timing wasn't the best, I just brought these girls home and it was a bit hectic, I knew I had a few weeks because they were only about four weeks old at the time to think about and start planning picking them up. So in the vlog where I picked them up I gave you guys a bit of a teaser at the end and some of you were guessing that they were baby rats and I can kind of see where you're coming from because of their size. They are quite large for mice. Compared to my rescue girls I think they are probably about twice the size of Sprig who is my smallest mouse so I can definitely see where you're coming from thinking they were baby rats but they are definitely mice, they're just a bit bigger than your average pet store or rescue mouse. And that is simply because they were bred to be that way. They are show mice, which means they have longer tails, they're generally a bit bigger in size and they do have bigger ears. So that is probably why you were fooled into thinking they were baby rats. But they are definitely baby mice, just very, very big ones. At this point though, they are about 11 to 12 weeks old. I'm not entirely sure how it works out with the date today, but they are not baby babies. Um, it took me a long time to actually organize with Emma, the breeder, to be able to meet because now I've moved all the way across the other end of the country. We now literally probably could not be further apart so it took a long while to organise to actually meet to pick them up but I'm still super happy with them. They are still so so cute and she sent me so many baby pictures that kept me going until I could pick them up. So yeah, that is the story of how I ended up having eight mice. That might sound a bit crazy to some of you but I do have this large enclosure and I do really love mice, I find them so great to care for. Compared to rats, if you tell me that I would have eight rats, I don't think I could do that, but having eight mice, I do really enjoy them so much, and I do think I'm perfectly capable of caring for all eight, so I do have eight mice now, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce you to the three newest additions. Vixen, she was born on the 28th of April and one of my patrons actually named her this and I think it really suits her because she is that foxy red colour, she is a long haired red mouse and you can't really see on camera, in person it's so amazing but her coat just really shines in certain lighting, it's like a really shiny red so I am obsessed with her, she's like one of the coolest mice I've ever seen and she's also super friendly, she just sits really still and just watches everything that's going on so 
I'm really, really happy with her and I can't wait to just see her grow up and spend the rest of her life with her. You probably can't see from over there, but she's being so cute. You're a good girl. So this is Clove, she's a colour point beige and she's my dream variety in terms of mice. I think she's so pretty and she was born on the 29th of April. It's so nice to have mice and know what their birthdays are because you guys know I love celebrating their birthdays and I'd say out of all of the three she is the most shy but she's still really curious and really friendly so I'm super super happy with her. This is Olive, she is the youngest but the biggest out of the three. She was born on the 30th of April and she is a tri-coloured female. I just love her markings so much and I did pick her out based on her markings because she reminds me of a little baby cow but her ears are absolutely massive and I think that's my favourite thing about her, just how big her ears are compared to the rest of her head. But in general she is a larger lady, I think she's definitely the biggest out of all of my mice. I think Opal might be a similar size, but it's going to be interesting to see how the smaller mice react to having a girl this big introduced to them. As you can see, she's literally the friendliest, chillest mouse ever. She doesn't care about being picked up or handled. She just loves to sit with you and get little face rubs, which is the cutest thing ever. So I will of course be making plenty more videos about them, but I just wanted to jump on here today and introduce them to you guys. Please make sure you are subscribed to see any more animal content from me. And now I'm going to roll some clips of their first few days being at home. <laughs> 